This is a film I made many years ago with family and friends at home. See if you can guess exactly when. Most of the information in it still seems relevant, even if the fashions have changed. So we're making it available again for your interest and enjoyment. See what you think. When fine red wines age, their colouring pigments combine with their tannins and literally fall to the bottom. That's why the wine grows paler. Decanting is the process of separating the clear wine from the sediment. The simplest way to do this is to have the foresight to stand the bottles upright for a couple of days before you're going to drink them so that the sediment falls quietly to the bottom. Bordeaux is very good about that, the sediment's quite heavy. Burgundy has a sort of fine dust that often takes a longer time to reach the bottom. And as for port, well, vintage port has a quite different heavy sludge. It can cling tight to the sides of the bottle, but not if it's often or recently been moved. This bottle will take at least a day to settle and become decantable. I always bring red wine that I'm going to decant into the kitchen, which is the warmest room in this house, so that it settles and gradually warms up to room temperature at the same time. Before guests arrive, I rinse out a decanter, or wine jug. This is one of my favourites. It was made in about 1800. It's a lovely piece of plain English glass that shows wine off beautifully. This one is a rather earlier one. It's a magnum. It holds a double bottle, and that's a very useful thing to have, too. Then I open the wine, being very careful about the cork, because this is, after all, over 20 years old, and pour it just as steadily as I possibly can into the decanter, holding it in my left hand. I want to avoid that glugging sound that you get when you start pouring as much as possible because that is stirring up some of the sediment. It'll soon stop, it's stopped now. The flashlight is absolutely ideal for watching it because it's a steady light. A candle is more atmospheric but it flickers and you can't see the wine nearly so clearly. I do wish some chateau proprietors wouldn't put the neck labels just where I want to see the sediment coming. There it comes. There we are. Oops. If this looks like going from the sublime to the gorblimey, remember that your most naive little domestic money saver would look an awful lot nicer in the crystal decanter too. Decanting wine an hour or more before serving it has a second practical purpose. It allows the wine to breathe. Funnily enough, this harmless habit can become a highly contentious issue among wine lovers. They tend to divide into two camps. Those who think that the soul, by which they really mean the smell of the wine, needs liberating. It needs to lie in contact with the air in a decanter. And the others who say that breathing is for people, not wine. <laughs> it's certainly true that some young red wines really do improve with decanting. After an hour or two, their volatile components start to mix with the air, and there's something for your nose to pick up. Decanting certainly helps wines like these. Top quality red wines that have been kept many years in bottle can have the same sort of shyness about showing what the French, of course, call their peacock's tail of perfumes. They need time. The wine, how it's so, really. <laughs> because red burgundy can have such flighty dregs, the Burgundians sometimes use a very practical machine to ensure that the bottle is never tipped back. 
A skilled hand can wring the very last drops of wine clear from the dregs with this engine. Tell me that it's... Well, I think I may have been a bit generous. I was, there's another two and a half litres in the plastic bag in the kitchen. So. <laughs> I hope, I hope I can eat it out. I taste it as a bit Young wines are likely to improve with decanting far more than old ones. I'd decant a five-year-old Bordeaux about three hours before drinking it, but a ten-year-old Burgundy, not at all, or just before I was going to drink it. Then I'd taste it straight away and taste it a little bit later, and I'd soon see whether the aromas were getting better or whether the wine was fading away. <laughs> the crowning touch when you've decanted a lovely wine is to hang a medal round its neck. Like this silver port label or this rather pretty enamel one. Now we know what's in that decanter, don't we? Another idea is a silver chain with a pin on each end which impales the cork. And that makes it pretty clear what we've got there. Or if your friends enjoy guessing games, there is this idea. One, two, joke. Bill, <laughs> uh, you bring out the sadist in me. I know you like to think before you drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's either Chateau Lafitte Rothschild or... Beaujolais Nouveau. <laughs> <laughs>